All right, this is another Sony press event thing. Obviously, when you see the title, it's about the two big, huge, new Sony Bazooka Telelens. And uh, this time a little bit different than other press event first log, which this time we jump right into the action first. But before that, I have to thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is a website for you to make website and it's really easy to use. You can make really good looking, professional looking website. Today, we've got that. This, this one a bit uh, upset about something. Don't want to move too hard, too hard. Let's first start with this 600mm f4 lens i have i uh better prepare because those parrots i don't know when will it actually start to shit i can't <laughs> oh shit <laughs> i missed it again i missed it again perfect example of it's not a gear it's you oh no oh no i think now the, the biggest challenge of this lens is me <laughs> with the help of this lens can this in inexperienced photographer actually get some shot of that flying bird i think it's too close okay now, now, now i'm so far away it should be hang on shit i set the distance limitator okay now i'm ready okay Whew. yes Yes! I barely have the bird within the frame, but a burst of 60 shot in just 3 seconds. Only one of them is out of focus. I mean technology this day is kind of like I don't I don't really have to do much. I just all I have to do is keep the bird in the frame and then the camera would do everything and the lens would do everything for me. Wow. No, it's up. okay. Yes. This is what I would call point and shoot. If you are able to keep the subject in frame, press the button, it will do it. Now give the parrot some time to cool down. And now I have the turn 200 to 600 millimeter zoom lens. F uh, 5.6 to 6.3 this is uh, obviously much lighter much smaller lens this one what is different than some other similar 150 to 600 lens this internal focusing so when you zoom the balance don't change at all does it does it change at all at all no i don't think so yeah the balance stays the same that's good and what's more, I've changed to this A6400. I like this A6400. You can check my review of the A6400 with Japan bullet train. And especially this is uh, 200 and 600 with the, this is A6400, which is uh, APS-C size 1.5 time crop. Waiting for it to feel like it to take off. Not only both lens focus quick, they are incredibly sharp. Photo from the prime lens looks better than the zoom, I think, but I can't say for sure. I don't really have too much time to test during this first lock. We'll have to see later. Right, just came back from outside. Before I continue, I have to thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. I've been using Squarespace for over 10 years now. I love it because it's really easy to use. It has loads of templates for you to choose from. Pick a template, start working from that template and slowly build up your website. It's so easy and the result is so professional looking and good looking. If you have been thinking about that, you can use this code LOCK to get your first purchase 10% off. Now we look at, we look at more detail into this 600 f4 millimeters. 600 mm f4 lens. This is supposed to be, as Sony say, this is the lightest full frame fixed focal length prime 16 600 mm. Actually, it's just, just a slightly lighter than the second best. I think it's a Canon or something. But they also, just like last time with the 400 meters, 
for 100 million meters, they have considered the balance of this land. So they have tried to shift uh, more lens element, more backwards. So it's not really that front heavy. The balance is right here. It's especially important for Sony because Sony has light, uh, lightweight body. If you have a front heavy lens, it will be even more out of balance. And this is the, it, it is basically just like the 400 mm pieces last time. This uh, a little awkward. I hold it like this, but anyway, you can have a have this takes off take take off this uh, lens hood. This lens hood you can wear it like a hat. Okay, we also have this 200 to 600 millimeters, and also this is this the lens hood, bazooka of a lens. Of course, this one, as I mentioned, um, when you zoom, this is internal zoom, uh, different from most other popular 150 to 600 millimeters. So it don't shift the balance when you zoom. And more importantly, because it's weather seal, uh, an internal zoom is going to be help with weather seal and thus proofing because there's nothing zooming in and out. Now the difference between them other than the price, this is a 13,000 US dollars lens on my hand. You can buy a car with this. But this have a better focusing motor. This has a linear focusing motor. This has direct drive. Yes, direct drive SSM motor, something like that. But this one, this one got a dual linear motor. Basically, linear motor is that it, the lens element basically just move front and back. It don't really have a rotation motor to drive gear, whatever. It just basically just move with magnet, something like that. It almost like those magnetic levitation train but it's just it's just that it's not levitation but it's kind of kind of similar kind of similar concept believe me but anyway this is quieter faster stronger than this look at the 600 millimeters close up close in if you are wealthy enough to buy the 400 millimeters last time from last time and this 600 millimeters you will find that everything stays the same uh, Sony try to make the two lenses, um, the focusing ring, the position of focusing ring, and uh, all the buttons stay exactly the same as the 400 millimeters. So you can find out just like last time when we look at the 400 millimeters, you have these buttons, you can set different uh, function to it. And this really funny switch, you can switch to left or right. This is for different, obviously you can set up for different um, function, menu focusing ring, which is really comfortable to grip and exactly the same diameter as the 400 millimeters. Also for people who are lucky enough to get both, you will notice that. <laughs> and that's also exactly the same when you pick it up like that, it's more comfortable in your hands. And now, as I mentioned, all the buttons are exactly the same. How many times I repeat that? AFMF, full-time DMF, uh, focusing range. You can set different function for this set button. Down there you have OSS optical stable sta steady shot <laughs> optical steady shot on off button three modes mode one the normal second mode two for panning mode three for more steady viewfinder useful and then there's a beep on off switch there and then at the back obviously for lens this big you don't have to buy a filter that huge you buy a filter this small and put it here. Now this is, as I mentioned, the aperture brace. You can see the aperture brace is almost absolutely round. So this is to ensure better bokeh balls, round bokeh balls. 200 to 600 millimeters. This room ring is really comfortable. It's, it's wide, just like the focusing ring as well. But this doesn't have that flick switch from the 600 or 400 millimeters. This one do have this kind of uh, customizable, customizable button. Well, after all, this is a G. That's G master. That's a master. This is not master. Got buttons at, at here as well. AF, MF, focusing range, limiter, optical, steady shot, and free modes. G, 
NG master. Well, as long as they say that this is the first time, they have, um, I mean, before they start, they have a presentation. They said that they know that some professional, like sport, uh, sport photographer, wildlife photographer, they might be holding, holding back from switching to uh, mirrorless because you don't have tele lens. But now, you have all the tele lens you want, and Sony think that this is the first time they have the whole full range of lenses for any professional photographers. So there you go.